Hey everyone, welcome in. Uh, today we have a super special episode that I've been in the works of with uh, YouTuber and artist Nadia Axel. So I want to show you guys a bunch of her work before we start in. She is an artist that I've been familiar with her work for probably the past year and a half or so. Uh, she's amazing. I've already seen her grow so much just from her art to her, uh, her socials everything she's fantastic so i'm gonna have a link down to her youtube her instagram everything you know her youtube videos are really fantastic she has such a great welcoming personality into how to grow and how to learn with your art she has great tutorials time lapses everything you want to see from an art youtube channel so definitely check her out she is amazing so basically this all started about i think maybe a month or two months ago Someone actually in my Twitch chat said she had mentioned me in one of her videos about kind of liking how I, uh, how I end up rendering and how I paint. So I actually wanted to get in touch with her about possibly doing some type of collaboration with her videos. So I tossed her an email, asked her if she'd be into the idea. She seemed super into it. We've had some back and forth in the past before, so it wasn't totally out of nowhere. And so what we're gonna do today is I actually spent some time working up a sketch on stream that we're going to send her and she's gonna do the same thing and send it to me. And we're both going to render each other's pieces and then send each other the finals at the end. So here we have the time lapse that we created. And I wasn't really sure what we were going to do when we started. I knew I wanted to make a kind of like just a portrait piece. I figured it would be nice and simple and we could have a lot of fun with painting it in. You know, most of the chat wanted me to do another Astron piece, which I think at first when I started sketching it, I thought we could go in that direction. But it kind of just became a character all its own. I really just wanted to think of a, a nice pose, get a lot of hair in there, maybe some interesting jewelry on her, which I think was a remnant of creating Astrin at first. You know, give my chat choice and they're going to pick Astrin every single time. So it really was staying super loose, how I usually do, and just trying to find some good shapes, some good idea for the entire piece. We didn't spend like a ton of time. I think we spent a couple hours on stream uh, trying to figure it out. But I was really happy with the pose. I figured to give her a lot of freedom on what to do. And here is the final right here. I really got into doing a nice clean line drawing. I think just my love for comic books always comes through when I get into line drawing, creating like that night, nice weight to the, uh, to the inking and the edging and all that. So that's that one. Okay, so Nadia just emailed me about an hour ago. I haven't seen what the image is yet. So let me pull out, open my email, I'm gonna put it over in my other monitor, and we'll swap over, and I'll check it out for you guys. All right, here we go, that's looking awesome. Man. So I like how it's like a really clean line drawing, so we can go so many different places on how we want to paint and render this. We can really figure out some really interesting lighting or color scenarios. Ah, man, this is pretty awesome. So we're probably gonna time lapse the painting of this, but I'll go over uh, commentary and we'll just kind of talk while we uh, get into this thing. Man, I'm so glad to be doing this. This is gonna be a ton of fun. All right, let's do it. Let's dive in here. So I had her sketch at first and I started throwing color on. I just didn't really have much of a game plan. I think that's something we're gonna talk about uh, a little bit later. And I started just kind of like dropping color on top of it, right? And I didn't want to treat it so much as like a coloring book. So I want to do some like line work over the top and then really kind of dive in and kind of make it my own thing as we go. Uh, we go into uh, lots of little, little details and I can touch it as we progress with the painting. But yeah, like I was saying before, this entire process has been amazing. It's great to kind of break out of your own kind of monotonous kind of like work schedule, which I've been kind of swamped with lately with so much freelance work. So this, I felt like this was something that I could just do just for me, just for fun, something that I could share with everybody else. And that was, uh, that meant a lot. It was, it's, I think it's helped me a lot this past month to be able to dive into something like this. But you know, I just want to drop as much color on, I slowly building up the values. And one thing I want to talk about, and it actually I hit a lot of issues while painting this. And I think one of the biggest issues was I didn't start off with a game plan. Now, usually when I'm painting something, I kind of have a vision of where I want to go when I start. And I kind of do dove into the piece really fast without kind of thinking like, oh, what's kind of a color theme that we're thinking about? 
wasn't super sure. I just dove in. I found myself spending a lot of time trying to refigure things out, trying to try out different lighting or different colors and just kind of seeing what worked. You know, we got there in the end, but I think you can save yourself a lot of time by kind of stepping back, thinking about the piece a little bit and kind of seeing where it goes. One thing you'll notice is I spent a lot of time trying to refigure the eyes out. I was having a lot of issues and kind of struggling a bit. Sometimes I pan them out, pan them back in, but you'll see what I mean about all that. Man, I need to take a break. So I'm still building up like a lot of values and everything. I haven't gone in with like a lot of darks, a lot of the line work back into it. Like I said, it's really just kind of like doing lots of cleanup. And I'm always working on my own process. I think a person's process and how they work is something that's always going to grow. You know, I hope I can speed up some things in the past, you know, or well, moving in the future, I should say, and uh, really kind of figure out how to get to a quicker, tight render point so I don't have to spend so much time doing cleanup. You know, something we talk about that I'm currently working on. See, I'm kind of messing with the, the eyelids and the bottom of the eyes. And one thing actually right here, I started working on it. It reminded me a lot of Joshua Milton's work on NYX, a comic book that I loved and his work is amazing. So definitely check him out. It's uh, Joshua Milton. He did that little run of NYX way back in the day. Uh, fantastic, fantastic work. And one thing we didn't see real quick is hand reference. So I always shoot my own hand reference if I need to, especially if I'm struggling with some of the hands. I encourage you all to do the same. It actually helps a lot. You know, never feel like you're too good for shooting your own reference. The best thing you can do is spend some time, take out your camera, throw a light up real quick, snap a couple pictures. We have it so easy these days having our phones and cameras with us so accessible. You know, I think the best thing is to do a sketch without reference, get a nice pose without thinking about any of it, and then shoot some reference just to help give you some more information. Find out where those knuckles are, see where the light is hitting. So it's still your own thing, right? So I think that's one good thing to take away from all this is the hands. And I definitely shot some reference for that to help me quite a bit. I think it definitely helps, especially, I would have a lot of trouble figuring out that hand on her face. That's, that is a tough uh, angle. And I, you know, I could have spent more time on the hands and really dove into really making them feel fitting in space and having all the folds and the skin and the knuckles and all that stuff. But you know, for the piece, I thought they were, they were rendered enough, I thought. But also down below guys, if you guys have any questions for me or things you want me to talk about, you know, I love to hear from you guys. I definitely spend a lot of time reading all the comments and all my videos. It really means a lot. I love seeing that kind of participation from everybody. You know, this is, I'm hoping to make this a pretty big year on, on my artistic growth, uh, what we do. Uh, we're gonna be definitely setting up a lot of uh, Comic Cons this year. That is kind of a big goal of mine. But yes, throwing some extra lighting at the end here, kind of just cleaning up edges, just kind of having some fun with it, you know? It doesn't have to be a full illustration with this insane composition. It's just sometimes you just want to sketch for fun, you know? And that's really what this whole exercise was. You know, it was really awesome. And then I think we're gonna pop over to what the final looked like, and it's right here. Yeah, I hope you guys liked watching some of this process. I like showing it to you guys. You guys, man, you guys are fantastic, seriously. I really can't say it enough. All right, I haven't pulled it open. I haven't looked at it yet. Let's drag it over onto another monitor so we can check this out. And here we go. Oh, that is awesome. Man, she did such a fantastic job. Let me zoom in on this. Guys, this is looking super, super badass. Man, that's crazy. I can't wait to see her video and see how she, her process in doing this. Man, I've never done this kind of thing with anyone before. Man, this is super awesome. I'm so glad we did this. Man, she did such a kick-ass job with this. Love how the hair came out. I love the green that she put in. I didn't even think about having that green when I, when I sketched it before. That's what's like the awesome, the, the craziest thing about this whole process, man. Yeah, Nani, you killed it. This looks amazing. Seriously, thank you so much, guys. Definitely follow her YouTube channel, her Instagram, everything. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this collaboration. I can't wait to do more in the future. 
I love having this more variety to the channel. This was a blast. I love working with Nadia. She is amazing. Seriously, guys, thank you so much. And definitely remember to subscribe to the channel, comment below if you like this, and we'll do a ton more of these in the future. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much.